Shabbat Shalom and Chodesh Tov. Rabbi Rachel Zarin here with a thought for Shabbat. Today and tomorrow, we celebrate Rosh Chodesh Adar Rishon, the new month of the first Adar, a time which signals the lead up to the festival of Purim and the leaning into the joy that that holiday brings. This is so much the case, in fact, that the rabbis of the Talmud taught from the moment that the month of Adar enters, we increase our joy. On the one hand, it makes so much sense to extend the joyfulness of the holiday of Purim, not just on that one day, but into the whole month. On the other hand, especially in a year like this, we can find it challenging how do we increase our joy when we are surrounded by so much sadness and darkness? How do we increase our joy when we live in a world of destruction and brokenheartedness? For better or for worse, this is not the first year that our people have faced a Purim in a dark time. And while this points to a tragic history, it also means that we have the wisdom of our ancestors to lean on as we navigate this difficult time. In particular, I look to a teaching that was shared with me by my friend and colleague, Rabbi Deborah Cantor, a teaching by Rabbi Kalanimus Kalman Shapira, also known as the Eish Kodesh. He was the Grand Rebbe of Piasnicer, Poland, and became the rabbi of the Warsaw Ghetto, where he ultimately died. In Purim of 1940, that Purim following the Nazi invasion of Poland, months before the creation of the Warsaw Ghetto, Rabbi Kalanimus Kalman Shapiro faced this same question, how do we increase our joy in a world that is so dark and frightening. And he taught the obligation to rejoice is not only for the person who is already happy or merely for the individual who is in a potentially joyful situation. Rather, even if a person feels lonely and brokenhearted with mind and spirit crushed, they must inject at least a spark of joy into their heart. What a beautiful way to approach this month of Adar. When the rabbis teach, Adar Marbin Besimcha, when the month of Adar enters, we ought to increase our joy. Perhaps the expectation is not that our joy abounds and overflows and pushes away all other emotions. Perhaps the expectation, at least through the lens of Rabbi Kalanimus Kalman Shapiro, perhaps the expectation is to recognize wherever our baseline emotions are and try to inject just a little more joy, to take wherever we might be and raise our joy a little higher. So as we enter this Adar Rishon, looking towards a holiday of joy as we're surrounded in a world of brokenheartedness. My prayer for us all is that we find those sparks of joy because they are still there. May we all increase our joy in whatever amount that may be. And may we all have a Shabbat Shalom and a Chodesh Tov.